maybe more scalable and has less other issues. And just see if in the end of the day those two things can be combined. Or or whether what the guys are doing will be solving some of the scalability problems in itself. You can ask more about that. So basically the, the, the core is gonna try take the evolutionary approach and Robin and Jeff, if I understand it correctly, are taking more of a radical approach. Um, working on uh, bringing our data structures we had in the JavaScript thing to the rest, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can uh, civilize, uh, which means like from the n uh, taking the bytes from the network and transfer it to data structures that we can uh, use uh, in the other way around, of course. So the idea is to bring some makers from San Jose, some students from universities, some people that are handpicked by professors that we already know, Thank you. and let them create awesome stuff. Basically have some ideas, some mentors that are people so like from... So like developers? Um, not only developers, but also students. Mm. Yeah, so not software developers only, but also uh, imagine electronics, uh, like Raspberry Pi stuff, so the idea is to create such projects, document them, and then share them with the overall tech community. There is this project called Nimipet. I don't know if you watch it. Uh, it's this guy that created a Tamagotchi-like game. Mm -hmm. Right, and you are, and you have this pet, the Nimi pet, and this pet feeds uh, it eats cryptocurrency. So when you have your browser open, you're mining, and then you mine a little bit of food for the Nimi pet to eat, and then if you mine enough, the Nimi pet is happy. It got some press releases like the Tamagotchi game in uh, cryptocurrency uh, stuff. Gotcha. Actually, you have to look at the stats and I will uh, send you an image later mm -hmm. because like the, the disk latency was, so the disk load was at 100% because the whole swap was used. More. How many? How many eight, more? eight more and um, like a different uh, arrangement of the seed nodes. Like we have 16 more servers but eight more seed no nodes that actually like do the computation and eight more nodes that like balance the uh, the, the uh, network traffic among the other uh, right. nodes. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of streaming sites like soccer game sites. So Kurt, mm. Kurt found a correlation between Brazilian games and a lot of uh, and times when a lot of connections went into the network. All the developers just grabbed his streaming and put it in the website, and he had embedded on that stream he had Nimic. So a lot of different sites were using his platform and they were using Nimic without realizing it. Not that big, oh. no, and that's the thing with browsers. They create a lot of new connections, but they don't have a lot of hash power, right? So for Kurt, it was a headache because I remember uh, with different time zones, when in Brazil they were watching a soccer game, in, uh, in Germany it was 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> was not amazing. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. And you could like predict if a game started, three minutes later we will go got an alert. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we hunt down the guy that was creating all these new connections and we did some work with him to ease the load in the seed notes. So these improvements are going to help a lot the network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And about I think everybody's like really itching to basically get get started on the Rust stuff. So uh, and I think we're gonna do the the release the a release tonight. Um, so basically to really wrap that up so that we can start tomorrow with the rest of the Rust implementation. Nice. Uh, well, I've been talking with some people in the community about the site that we created before, Nimic.community, and some people think it needs a redesign to maybe focus more on the information available for Nimic, information that is important for the community, like all the pools, also focusing in a new section that is going to be the academy, or teaching our users some basics about crypto and how to handle private keys and the technology behind Nimic, uh, the projects that we that 
we as a community are building so we're trying to showcase that more than the previous site so we are finishing a complete redesign with help of community members and I'm working with them as a developer even though that's not my main job but as more people find this new site then more people start helping and that's the main idea so it's going to be exciting when we release it